Okay, we're going to log into YouTube. That's the first step. We have to click on sign in here. And then we're going to type the email address of our YouTube account. Then we click next. And then we have to enter our password in. And now we're signed into YouTube. The presence of the channel icon in the upper right corner confirms we're signed in. Click on it and then we choose Creator Studio. Then we go over here to live streaming. Then we click on events. Then we click on new live event. This is just going to be a test event so I'm going to call this testing. And you pick a date and a time when you want your event to start. And then you put in the description. The start time is a best guess. The event can actually start either before or after that time. Then you can choose what the axis will be. Public is what we want in our case, but you can choose these other two things unlisted and private. We're going to choose custom because we want uh, the TriCaster to be uh, broadcasting this and uh, we don't want to use Google Hangouts. So then you just click uh, create event. Now you have a new event. You can change the thumbnail uh, by using the browse button. Everything I've shown you so far can be done from any computer anywhere. Now let's switch over to the TriCaster. The first step is to click on the gear icon next to stream. That will bring up this large dialog box. Use this drop down list to choose a bookmark that's already been created for you or if there is no such bookmark choose the last item on the list which allows you to create your own bookmark. If you've chosen an existing bookmark this address bar will be filled in. If not Using this address bar, type in the URL to YouTube and log into YouTube if necessary as we did at the beginning of the video. Using the YouTube interface, navigate to your event. Click on Edit and then click on Ingestion Settings. What we want to do here is we want to get a special file for the TriCaster. So we click on Single Use Stream Key and then down here we click on Download Profile Primary. And what that does is it saves a file to the TriCaster's hard drive. Then we click on the Import Settings button and find the file we just saved. That takes care of filling in all of this information. The only other thing left to do is to choose the resolution that we're going to stream at and I would recommend this setting. The last step is to start the stream by pressing this button. Don't worry, you're not live yet. There's still another step that needs to be accomplished in the YouTube interface. The next steps can be done through the TriCaster or through any other computer. Okay, here we are at the event control panel. We want to go to the live control room. The, the TriCaster has been started up. So it, the TriCaster is streaming data and we know that it's streaming data because it says good here in green letters. And it says the health is good. So now we can hit preview and then we get this dialog box here that says, are you sure you want to preview this live event? It may take a few seconds to process your stream. So we click OK, and then it sits here for a little while. Now we have the Start Streaming button here, but it's not enabled. We have to do a preview first to get it enabled. We can go down here and click this button here to look at the stream to see what it looks like uh, before we go live, before we actually start streaming. Okay, the preview looks good. We can hit this button now. This button is ready to go. And the minute I hit this, we are live on YouTube for the rest of the world. The rest of the world will start seeing what we see down here. So I'm going to click the Start Streaming button. And it says, are you sure you want to start streaming the event? You click OK. We are live. So here's the counter. This is showing you uh, how long your program is. And you can see here how much time you know, how many concurrent users at peak, what their average amount of time is that they're watching, and the total amount of time that they watched. So, when your program is all done, you come back here and you click Stop Streaming. Then the program has ended and YouTube will make it a video just like any other video. It's ready to be watched from the beginning as if produced um, offline and then uploaded to YouTube. So I'm going to click Stop Streaming, and it says, are you sure you want to stop streaming the event? 
you will not be able to restart. So this is not a way to pause and then start up again. This is, you know, it's done. So I'm going to click OK. We have a 49 second program. That was it. We're done. Thank you.